Hello! Cast your mind back, if you will, to the year 1990. Well, unless, of course, you were born after 1990, then don't cast your mind back that far, you'll break the universe or something. Anyway, yes, 1990. Nintendo's Game Boy was the next big thing that became the current big thing, and my word, they made a lot of money with it. And as a result, less scrupulous manufacturers thought, hmm, we could probably make a cheap version of this and rein in lots of spondylix. Spondylix being what everybody called money in 1990, of course. And good lord, there were a few of them. As you've seen this channel in the past, there was the old Supervision, and there's the Mega Duck, which has the greatest name of any console, obviously, and the Game 8 or the Gamate, or however you pronounce it. But the German company Hartung thought they'd have a go as well, and made the Game Master which is a quite wonderful name. However, in the UK, Hartung were an unknown quantity, so it was branded by Systema, which was a company that basically made slightly crappy LCD games for the British market. And it was repackaged as the Systema 2000, as you can see here using your eyes and brain. You also notice it's quite scuffed and knocked around, because frankly, these things are quite rare, and I had to go with what I had. Also, there's a little bit of muck just appeared in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, so I've got to open up and clean that out later. That'll be fun. Exciting bit of trivia for you. When I was young, I thought the company was called System A, and not Systema. And it wasn't until relatively recently I saw it written down and realised it's quite obviously the word Systema. Anyway, 2000, so-called because it was released in 1990. It's a portable game console, they got that bit right. Who wants to guess at the resolution? If you said 64 by 64 pixels, you win absolutely nothing. Even though you're correct, that's how hard this world is. Yeah, black and white little screen that you can only see from a couple of angles, you know how it works. Cartridge goes in the top, it's a standard 40 pin thing, similar to the Supervision, and no, the games are not cross compatible, everybody always bloody asks that. Um, you've got, I believe it's uh, four double A's, yes, there we are in order to power this mighty beast. You can also power it from the mains. Um, expect, of course, the nuclear power plant to actually faint in shock if they see anybody actually plugging one of these in, or indeed existing. Contrast, so you can fiddle with it and desperately try and see the screen. Volume, so you can maybe hear it. If I remember, this is quite a crackly one, so you have to fiddle with it a bit, so that'll be fun later. And the phone jack, so that you can phone somebody called Jack and tell them that you just bought a Systema 2000. No way, it's headphones. And the controls, crikey, why are they at that angle, and why are they so low down? Eh, just playing on me, Systema. See, it's kind of designed, so you have to grip it by the corners at a funny angle. I reckon it's to try and make you drop it on purpose and break it, so you have to buy another one so your games aren't wasted. Also, uncomfortable buttons. Look, look, look at the shape of them. Look. Look how round they are. Look how damaging to your thumb they'd be over long term. Deary dear. So, we'd better play a game or two then, hadn't we? Have a look at a cartridge. Here's one now. It's called Falling Block. Now, you would think from the front of this that this would be a Tetris clone. And you would, of course, be right. I mean, it's quite obvious. They came in these nice little bags. Not as nice as the old um, Nintendo cases they used to give you. But still all right. I can't actually get this one out. How is this folded in? Oh, it's got inside. Ah! We're going to get it out. We will win. Victory is assured. Hooray! And there we are with exposed contacts, because, hey, cheap. And you get a little bit of uh, spiel with it. In fact, literally spiel, I think, because, uh, yes, this is in German, and it's also for the game Go Bang. Go bang yourself, you cheeky buggers. Um, yeah, which is a version of Bang, also for this system. Falling Block isn't a bad version of Tetris, actually. One of the better games, as I will now demonstrate. Hey, look, here's Go Bang. Look how nice these German boxes are from Hold Hartung. You've got uh, pleasing graphics and colours and things. No actual screenshots of the game, for various reasons. The British um, boxes weren't so good. You just got these sort of plastic things here you had to cut open, with sort of weird little pixel monstrosities trying to demonstrate the game. Very odd. Um, the other odd thing is that I have absolutely no idea whatsoever which country this was bought in. It cost 3,200 action points. I mean, that's like a thousand turns in XCOM. That's just weird. Anyway, collect them all, it says. You probably don't want to do that unless you're really desperate to play Dungeon Adventure and Continental Galaxy, which I actually have over here. But we'll get on to that shortly. Right. You may have noticed I've put off slightly turning it on. That's because... <laughs> ah, 
You know how modern electronics usually work when you turn them on? Well, not so with the old Systema. Um, yeah, this is really cheaply made. I bought it um, under the impression that it may or may not work. It did not work by the time I actually got a game to test it with, because the person selling it didn't have one. However, um, I was uh, eventually convinced to open it up and I found a couple of loose connections and re-soldered everything, and now it broadly seems to work. Let's see if we can get some falling block action going on. Ready, steady, fingers crossed. Yes! Falling block, there we go. Right, and you can't see a bloody thing. Um, oh, look at that. My god, I can actually see it better through the viewfinder than I can through my eyes in real life. Through real life now, literally all I can see is a black screen. Right, can we get any music going on? No, there doesn't seem to be any. Right, falling block one, start. That's probably a bit loud. Oh, listen to the clunky. There we are. Oh, that button's dropped then. Do you know what? This is a perfectly playable, if slightly bland, version of Tetris. What's happened to the music? It's like somebody said, right, we need a bit of music like Tetris, make it sound a bit Russian folk songy. And he was like, okay. But unfortunately he could only write a tune that lasted for a few seconds and then just put random frickin' notes in. Listen. Oh wait, it sounds a little music-y. Oh look! Did you just see a non-standard Tetris piece there, friends? Yeah, th this isn't music, this is a child slapping on a keyboard. Oh, that's interesting, I didn't realise there were non-standard pieces, that's how long I've played this game for. Anyway, you get the idea, you have to press a button to drop rather than pushing down, it's annoying. And the music wasn't at all. I hope that gets number one in the hit parade, played by a popular beat combo. Right, time for another game. Not bother with Go Bang, it's a version of Go, it's quite good. There, that's that done. Go on then. Hyperspace. And like all games called Hyperspace, this is about a man funny hat who collects apples or something like that. Mm. I swear I've played this in the past, but I have very little memory of it. That's probably not a good sign. All right, out we come. I wonder if I can get the old instruction buttons going on. Oh yes. I do like a nice and confusing instruction that I cannot actually get out of here for love nor money. Um, we might have to give up on this shortly, actually. No, you... Uh, 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 no, you will come! Uh, Alright then, let's work it out together. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. I tell you what, we'll jump cut afterwards and see if we were correct. Look at that art. How does that not make you want to spend all your money on that? Right, on we go. And, oh god, it's hyperspace. I don't know what's going on, there's like sideways Tetris. Right, start. Now I remember. Arm waving twit man. Um, it basically goes around a maze, of which you can only see nine blocks at a time. Oh god, what's that? Press that button, I think that's like an overarching map. Man, this music's annoying. Oh, did I pick something up there or did I get hit? I don't know, because there's no way I can see ahead as to what's happening. Oh god, there's a snake thing. Oh. Well, I kept bashing this button. It seemed to kill it. Does that attack whatever's next to you? I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god. I tell you what, this wouldn't be making any Game Boy owners jealous at the moment, do you know what I mean? No, nope, can't go up there. What about here? Yep. Yeah. Oh god, what? What? I just got killed by a load of corruption. What was that, the glitch Pokemon or something? I'm going to start playing this now on the grounds I want to live. Right, I'm going to see if I can get the instructions out and try and work out what the hell was going on. Oh, look at that! Right, straight away this time. That's because I was planning my attack while playing the game, honest. Right, these look like they were in English, which is a very good start as a general rule. So, why the hell is it called Hyperspace? I mean, surely that's a name for space games. Okay, <clears throat> getting started. Turn your, turn your portable Game Master off. Oh, so this isn't a system. Oh, do you know, I thought these were the Systema branded ones, but they're not. They're just calling it Portable Game Master. Hmm, I wonder what the UK ones look like then. I don't know. And you know what? I don't know if I care enough. The object of the game is to go through the maze to find the weak spots within the time limit, shooting the monsters, each worth ten points as you go. While that was difficult, so I couldn't really work out if I was shooting or not. As soon as you've entered all the weak spots in the maze, you will automatically enter the next level. Pardon? You yout have a shield, lucky old yout, which has eight points. The shield points will decrease by one point each time it is hit by a bullet, or two points when you collide with a monster, which is then killed. Yep, exactly like real warfare. When the shield points decrease to zero, or a capital O as they've ever written, it will deactivate and disappear. Then you will be killed by the next monster or bullet. So all that happened, did it? 
What? The shield will reactivate after a short while, or when your new life begins. Oh, how Buddhist. After level 210, the player will pick up an electric beam, which will replace the bullet. Level 210?! What?! Your madness! Fault. Abnormal display. Possible cause. Shock to brainstem through electricity. Fault. Dim display. Well, frankly, that's just a fault of the machine, full stop. Um, that's one of those confu- I just, uh, What? The A keys are either of the weak spots, right? B keys to fire in the last fire direction. What? To fire out of the- Yeah, so I was kind of- I- That game was liquid concentrated ass. But don't worry, we will have the day saved by Continental Galaxy! as opposed to one of those galaxies which just exist in one continent. So what have we got going on here? We've got like a pink slab going off into infinity. It looks a bit like a sort of Russian cartoon from the 1970s about the dangers of um, over-commercialism or something. It's got that kind of feeling to it, like a giant pink skyscraper full of random windows. Except it's in space. And up the top there's something that might be a space... I am very confused by this already. Okay. I can strongly recommend you guard your brain and body from the powerful feelings which are to come about. I know this is definitely one of the German ones. Well, there was a hint on the back, by the way, it's all in German. But the um, Hartung Game Master, the original German one, was made of a much darker plastic, you see. Right, Continental Galaxy. I mean, I mean, why is that even supposed to be? It's like a Star Destroyer drawn by an imbecile. Right. Oh, oh. Oh no, it's got... Oh, bloody hell. How dodgy is this thing? Seriously. Ooh. Continental Galaxy 2020. A is fire, B is shield. Press start to begin. That's the music I want at my funeral. Right, start. Oh yeah. All right, I'll work this one out. It's down at the bottom. Can I move up and down? Yes, I can. Can I go diagonally? No. Shit, I touched a bad un. Okay, there's a helicopter in space. There's an alien. Uh, oh yes, there we are. Tap that and you get some uh, shield for a second or two. I'm going to go and ram my shield into you. Oh, that's used all my shield up. Oh, hang on, there's a little bar at the top. Is that the shield regenerator? Yes, it is. Oh, that's an interesting mechanic. What the hell? This game's actually competent. You can actually have some fun with this for, like, three seconds. My god, as compared to the others. Well, the Tetris was all right. In fact, by others, I basically just mean hyperspace. Whoa, hey, saw that going. Oh, bum holes. Well, that's all right, that is. I've got no idea why it's called Continental Galaxy. Is that Does that make sense if transliterated exactly into German? No idea. Well, that's very good. Well done, Continental Galaxy. Now, if only I could play with a castle in space. Oh, my God. Space castle. Or, like, a George Foreman grill that's got one of Barry Lewis's novelty cakes on the top. I like whether it even has an aerial, or is that the gun? What? What? Again, I've pl I'm sure I've played this game, and I cannot for the life of me um, remember... Oh no, I remember this! Ah, yes. Right. Space Castle, and you are not going to believe this, is a boss rush game. I shit ye not, comrades. Je Let's have a look at that. My god. It's like art never existed. Right. Basically, you get... What the hell was that? Half a pound of tuppenny rice and half a pound of extreme pain to the lug holes? Good grief. There are total five castles you have to fight. Marvellous. Shut up. Zone. Okay. Oh, this is, yes, I've definitely played this. Basically, you have to find the weak spot, which as you guessed is the little USS Enterprise thing in the middle, and just keep shooting away. And whilst avoiding the ordnance it uh, attempts to destroy you with. Yep, it really is basically what you would consider the boss from Continental Galaxy to be like, but just a um, series of them. I don't know why I'm bothering shooting into the sides. I don't know if there's any bonuses for that. Come on, nearly through. Yay! We are the kings of the space castles. Damn you all. Zone 2Bs. Wouldn't it be better <clears throat> if you could fit some engines or something to your ship and just fly around the other side and shoot the weak spot, which is totally undefended? Call me old-fashioned, but I can't help feeling that would be a very, very effective method. Right. Avoid its silly la laser that's just a big block of nothings. Oh, man, this is really annoying. Ugh. Well, this one's annoying, because you can't... It fires the laser so often that you can't um, shoot through it. Man, the sound effects. 
It's like being in Bjork's refrigerator or something. Right, enough of this. I'm sure you get... Oh, it blew up anyway. I'm sure you get the idea. Again, not something you're probably going to spend hours on, but um, there's a little something to the game, as opposed to hyperspace, which just seems like wrong-headed nonsense, but there we go. And that is it for my Systema 2000. Unfortunately, for I have no other games, and it's not like somebody just lent me a whole collection of them is a lie I'm telling, because uh, Retro Man Kieran Hawken has very kindly lent me all his Systema 2000 games, which we'll be looking at in a later video coming up in a week or so. But until then, Space Castle. We'll always have Space Castle. Hmm, do you know what else we'll have? Another bloody Game Boy knockoff, which frankly wasn't any good at all. Interesting fact, you know how there's two versions of the uh, Supervision? There's like the, there's a weird version with like a big screen on a um, moving thing. I must get hold of one of those, they're relatively cheap actually. Well, there were two versions of this apparently. Um, there was the Mighty One as we see before us, but also a more Game Boy styled one along the lines of that. Um, but unfortunately, I have never seen one, for they are rarer than the teeth of the hen. Anyway, if you should go back in time to 1990 and want to buy a handheld game console, don't buy this one. It's not very good.